What's up guys and girls, Lazy Dragon here, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. Now I said we were going to do a full playthrough of this game, but unfortunately the rest of the world beat me to the punch. And at that point it kind of felt like throwing a small bucket of water into the ocean. <laughs> My contributions to the Resident Evil 2 playthrough community, it, it would have been unnecessary. So instead, we're going to play the Ghost Survivors DLC, which recently released for free, and details a few what-if scenarios in the Resident Evil 2 universe, because apparently that's a thing now. Let's take our... Uh, who's first? No Time to Mourn. Ah, yes. Let's take the man who... looks like he's wearing a chessboard on his shirt. And his daughter, who is, of course, going to break all of our hearts when she eventually dies. Here's a tale of a future that never was, of a night that never dawned, of a Batman who never came. It does sound like it should be one of the fancy monologue bits in The Dark Knight. Looking at the small, lifeless body beside him, Robert Kendo turned the gun towards himself. When the sound of his radio stopped him from pulling the trigger, the voice of an old friend crackled through. Robert, partner, please respond. I've secured a chopper to get us out of here. Rendezvous is up, I'll hold position here until you arrive. It's really easy for people to find choppers in the Resident Evil universe. Which is good, because they're made out of paper mache and go down at the drop of a hat. But seriously, these things just crop up everywhere. Do they have vending machines for helicopters in the Resident Evil universe? It would answer a lot of questions. That guy had always been stubborn. After he'd made up his mind, he wouldn't hear anything different. Forgive me, Emma. Daddy's gotta go. Robert stood up. There was no time to mourn. Sucks to be you, little girl. We ain't burying you. You can just lie there, deed. Oh, I'm going home. In fact, he's not even going home. He's, go he's abandoning his home. Screw this place. I'm going to Hawaii. Has there been a Resident Evil set in Her Hawaii? Resident Evil Cove Pearl Harbor or something like that. Ooh, you're a much bigger character than I'm used to. <laughs> Most of the characters are quite slim and... Or not petite, but you can at least see round either side of them. This guy, not so much. Oh, we got some ammo, some gunpowder, samurai edge. Okay then, where are we heading to actually? The gun shop? Go to the meetup point in the sewers. Oh, oh goody. Wait, the sewers is this way, isn't it? Well, I, I have to take a different route to the sewers. That, that, that door leads to the sewers. The whole point of this gun shop is that it's in close proximity to the sewers, that's why he bought it. He's, he's a big fan of sewers, Mr. Kendo. This is Officer Mills. HQ, please respond. <coughs> this is HQ. What's the situation? My voice acting is still going downhill. A new monster, they've got these glowing eyes, look like real creepy bastards. My partner took one of them out of point blank range. The thing died, but it released some sort of purple smoke. She. this is some good smoke. Officer. Officer, are you stoned off your ass right now? She. man. What the fuck's going on? Everybody's eating each other. <laughs> they ain't the only ones with the munchies. Calm down. We're currently confirming with Umbrella R&D. Shut up, Mr. Radio Man. I guess something's not right. Instead of killing them, it just made him real happy. And that's my impression of a, a hardened soldier who's bobbling away. Yes, I see you, little raccoon. I see... Ah, do I waste the ammo killing a raccoon? <laughs> Stupid question. Of course we do. Okay, that small rodent. Sewers, sewers. Well, here's the sewers. Do I just run down this way? How else do I get... Oh, do I have to go through the police stuff? Oh, fuck, I will, won't I? Through the police station. Oh, and I'm poisoned. I learnt nothing from that police recording. Don't get close to them, which sucks. Because the shotgun is an amazing weapon, but it only works properly at close range. Well, that, that's our one get-out-of-jail-free poison card. <laughs> This is not going to end well for us. Where's the entrance? There it is. There's the police station. Not as if we've we've been here before. Breaking into the underground car park. 
Honestly, I don't know why the chopper is in the sewers of all places. I mean, really, if I had a helicopter, I would not land it in the sewers. What is that guy? Does that explode? Please tell me it explodes. <laughs> oh, I do like the explosives. Uh, shoot, there's a ladder back here somewhere. Here we go. Down the hole. Ah, uh, into lovely, confined, close quarters territory. This will be fun trying to dodge all the zombies down here. Anybody? Yeah. Rock your body. Yeah. Oh, hey, save point. Which doesn't work. We've got the one member of Raccoon City who does not understand how to use a typewriter. Poor guy. Did he miss that in school? Typewriting day. All the other kids got to go to the old Victorian typewriting factory. But not this man. Ooh, that's a bad noise. Oh, shit me, there's a licker. Oh, 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 pleased to be leaving me alone, Mr. Licky Licky. I don't like it here. I don't want to be here anymore. Through the door. Ah, oh, shoot. I don't have any weapons to get them off of me. No, the blue man group's going to rip us to shreds. Get them off. Get them off. Take that Thanos' ugly ass cousin. And away. Run. I can't even run anymore. I can't run, I'm poisoned. <laughs> We're gonna die. This is a terrible first playthrough. Oh no. <laughs> None of these cure poison. Well, I've bollocks this up, haven't I? That doesn't lead to the sewers. Does this way lead to the sewers? What's that? Ow, ow, ow. Stop doing the weird poison thing. There. Is there items in there? Gunpowder. Gunpowder. Really? Gunpowder and gunpowder. What? I... I need health, ammo, something. Why are you giving me so many shotgun shells? Is this so that I can kill myself in a different way? Is that the point of this what-if story? <laughs> what if Robert Kendo killed himself in a different house? As far as what-if stories go, it's not quite the same as what if Thor got turned into a frog, now is it? No! No, I can't even kill them now. Can't even kill them properly. Oh, come on. There. Fucking hell. Shoot! 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 Why? Yeah, I don't like being poisoned. It stops me from aiming properly. Or from reloading. Or from doing much of anything, really. You know, much, much like poison would in the real world. I hate this realism in Resident Evil. God, I, I preferred it when the series was just about giant tar monsters and a creepy small child that followed you around. Can't we go back to those days? Why do all games have to be so so concerned with realism now? Right, is this the way out of here? No, we said sewers. Fuck, sewers are down, aren't they? There's another door. Down, 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 down. <laughs> Stop choking, please. I promise I'll find you another blue herb to heal you up. We just need a dude with a backpack. That's the wrong sort of backpack. That's a blow pack. Get it? Because when I shoot it, it blows! Yeah, hey, ooh, a vending machine. Shotgun shells. None of these cure poison. Item taken. Oh, okay. I only get one of them, do I? I can't just, I don't know, shoot the rest out. Actually, those are some really... Ugly vending machines. I mean, it's got, got the 90s vibe down pat. But still, I, I would not eat the gumballs that came out of there. Oh, they're all going to get up, aren't they? None of them are dead. Uh -uh. <laughs> no, we're not going to be stupid here. There we go, that's one. Two. St I know you're poisoned. Stop choking. Stop, please stop choking. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Damn it, alright. Let's do this the manly way. There we go. I missed, I missed. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was luck more than judgment. How am I still alive? Reload your gun, you idiot. Don't point a fucking stick with some metal on it at him. That's not going to scare the zombies away. Are you dead, dead, or are you alive, dead? You're alive, dead. You're alive, dead. Now you're dead. Come on, be dead, dead already. Oh, more gunpowder. Yay. 
Because what we really needed was some more of this. Couldn't get anything to cure all of that poison. No, we're going to be choking for the entire video. Are we there yet? Did, did we make it to freedom and safety? Oh, I thought there was going to be something in the lift for a moment. Are we free? Poor Robert Kendo. He loses his daughter. He's going to lose his fight against asthma at this rate as well. Blue Herb! Finally! Yeah, I don't don't care about the rest of it. We just... There. Oh, I, and I'm in danger. Good. There. That's... He's healthy now. No more choking fits until I inevitably walk out this door and get beaten again. Yep, there we go. There's, there's a bitey dude. With poison as well. Old steel bird. Gotcha. I do like that the heads go up in one go. Like one of the things that, like the most common complaints about Resident Evil 2 is that it takes a ludicrous number of headshots to properly finish an enemy. But these little purple guys, they, they took that, that lesson to heart and they die immediately. It's really good stuff. You know, I'm glad to see that they're responding to, to creator feedback. Or, or to survivor feedback, I suppose. Not really creators, aren't they? Uh, excuse me a moment, let me just... Here we go. Sparky time! Everybody knows that a zombie hates tasers. I missed. Blob his head, blob his head, blob his head. Yay! What about you? Yeah. We can tase you just like your little friend. I like the little dancing animations they do. I feel like we should we should all join them in doing a jig. Honestly, they do look kind of like the backing dancers to a really bad boy band. You know, the <laughs> Resident Sync or something like that. No. It's supposed to be an instant joke, but it just makes it sound like you're washing Chris Redfield in the kitchen. Resident Evil Sync. Make certain to use all of the dish soap. And always double tap your opponents. You never know when they're going to come for you. Go down. Fall over. Damn it, eat shit and die. There we go. Oh, and I'm poisoned again. whoop de fucking do this is, this is fine. It's not a problem. Why would I be worried about any of this? God damn it. I assume it's this way. It must be this way. Yeah, workroom. Work, yeah, okay, down this way. This leads to the sewers. See, we're in the sewers. This was the what we were instructed to do. So where's that freaking chopper? It's, it's supposed to be here. Oh, chopper. Chopper! Is it hiding behind one of the piles of rubbish? Do I have to clean the entire sewers to get out of here? Oh! Oh, that's a bad noise! Oh no, the bad man touched me! Get off, get off, I don't have anything to... No! Oh, no, this isn't good, I don't have any sub-weapons to hit him with! Oh, that's gross! Ew! You sickly bastard! Oh, come on! That's bullshit! How was I supposed to do anything about him? Well, that's the end of No Time to Mourn. We got... what? You, you saw it yourselves. I'm calling bullshit on the zombies that do that, by the way. That's... I fucking hate that. I've lost three hardcore runs. Because I've had two zombies that hit me at the same time. One comes up from behind and stops you from doing anything. And then the other one just hits you immediately before you can actually hit a button. So that's... That, that's my tale for the day. I hate zombies that team up and use... Cooperation against you. I'm the only one that should be able to use cooperation in a solo game. That, that's what I call my two guns. When I deal wield, one of them's called co op and the other one's called oration. You know, they work together to mow down zombies. Right, let's try runaway instead with a girl who looks very confused. That's not really a scared face, it's more. Oh, what did I have to drink last night? Ugh. Don't you just hate it when you're out partying with your mates? And you wake up wearing your pyjamas on a strange metal table in the house of a man who's probably insane. Here is a tale of a future that never was, of a night that never dawned. Yet again. It's a very long night, this one. I'll take you to meet someone special. Catherine Warren simply believed Irons' words. He was a gentleman and the chief of police after all, not to mention a good friend of her father, the mayor. Oh, she's well connected, isn't she? 
and yet they didn't bother to evacuate her. You know, when we're saving Raccoon City, the people that we need to focus on getting out are one police officer, one small girl, and a baker chick. You know, fuck the mayor and his daughter, they can stay there to burn. No, what we really need to do is save the baker chick and an international Chinese spy. That, those are the people who need to get out of the city. Let's focus all the evacuation efforts on them. However, after he'd lured her to the orphanage, he let the mask slip. Somebody stop me! Sorry. Do you know I think you may become my greatest work? She fell into despair as she heard the words. But fate was on her side. She took the jail cell keys from her would-be killer and made up her mind. I have to go. I have to rescue my love. Ben. Okay. Is this where we find out that Ben is a dog or a stuffed animal? And she's gonna risk it all just, just to break into her home and rescue a teddy bear? Oh no, I killed a man! Oh no, he dropped his stuff on the ground. Oh no, I'm picking it up. Oh no, I've robbed the dead. Oh no, right, do you have any weapons? You... Ooh, well, she is not lacking in the asset department at the very least. Do you have any guns at all? Yes, you do. Gun, combat, infinite combat knife. Oh, yes. And some ammo. Right, let's get cracking. Oh, oh, you're dead. Oh, 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 oh. I can't teabag in this game, but that's what I have to do. Do the chicken dance at him. Take that, fat man. Right, where is her love been? Um, letter to the director. Do you recall the white specimens discussed in last month's report? You can't call them that. They're albino challenged. The researchers have named them pale heads. That's just needlessly cruel. These specimens have undergone a special mutation. Unlike normal specimens, they can regenerate. Oh, good. Because that's what we needed. It's even stronger zombies. To stop a pale head, you must use high-powered weaponry that can damage it faster than it can regenerate. So what you're telling me is that I need to kill them before they get up. Really? What a novel way of thinking. Here I was, sticking the gun in my mouth and using it as a toothpick when I should have been using it to kill zombies. At <laughs> no wonder we've been dying so much. My team is currently searching for a way to reliably produce pale heads, because it's Resident Evil and everybody in this world is fucking insane. Therefore, I would like to request that double the number of subjects are sent to our laboratory. Okay, so... We know about the pale heads. Where am I going? What's my objective here? I need to find Bing. To talk... No... Ah. Get to Ben's cell. Oh, get to his cell. Right, he's in the police station. Simple enough, simple enough. Okay, I know where I'm going now. I mean, we're probably going to die before we get there. Are you a pale head? Are you a pale head or are you just an ugly man? I'm sorry. Fall down. Fall down. Fall down, please. I have two high-powered bullets and I'd rather not waste them this early. Oh, come on. That's a pale head. Go, go for the knees. Shoot out his legs. Fall down. Fall down. Now yeah, well, that'll do. See ya, mate. And we're off and running. We're off to the races. I can't get out that door. And up the stairs. We're going to need a key to get out there, aren't we? I think. Maybe. Fall over. Fall over. Ow, sod it. No, nope, don't sod it. High-powered guns. High-powered guns. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. It's the same every time. I'm always getting attacked from the back. An old key. Oh, well, there's our exit. Now I just need to get down these stairs again. Fall, fall, fall. Pale head, fall over. Fall over, that's five bullets. Shit. All I want you to do is fall down. That's not too much to ask for, is it? <laughs> Hand gun ammo. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of that before this is over. Come on. Just fall over. Fall over. Oh, he didn't even grab for me. Well, that was jolly good of him. Get off, you swine. Now, oh no, now I don't have my knife! Shit! Come on, I want my infinite knife back! Give me the infinite knife! I'm out of bullets again! Well, this is a, a right pickle, make no mistake about that! Superpowered bullets! Missed! Missed! Fuck! I deserved that, I deserved everything I got there! 
That was awful. I can't do anything at this point. Yeah, it's over. Finish the job. Shh, that was bad, even by my standards. That was... We have to do that one again. I... <laughs> I swear I'm not this bad. I've got an S rank on the game. That, I know what I'm doing here. I'll, I'll prove it to you. I'll show you the achievement and everything. Here it is. Uh, unlocked. Complete. War Explorer. Oh yeah, I've, I've read all of the files for some reason. Witness the true ending. Yeah, complete clear story on a standard or hardcore with an S rank. I've, I've done it on... I'm good at this game, I swear. I've got to be out of practice. I've got to be out of practice, that's it. Right, uh, chicken dance. Da, 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 da. And away we go. Got to read all of that wall. Got to read those very important notes. This time, we charge up the stairs. We kill the guy with the backpack. God damn, Catherine, you cannot aim for shit. What is wrong with you? Did we get the one survivor with Parkinson's? Her aim is all over the place. Jeez. Come on. Can I just run past him? No, no we cannot. Can I have that back, please? I need it for reasons. Damn it. Superpowered ammo. This time we're going to actually kill them. Gotcha. Yeah, get off me. Give me that knife back as well. Go, 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 go. Ignore him. We want the light at the top of the stairs. Where are you? 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 Bingo. Die, die, die. Ah, it's all the good of you. It's strange when people actually listen to what I'm saying. Grab some of this. You know, a bit of handgun ammo for the road. Never hurt anyone. Apart from the zombies. Ha ha. Shout out to that pale head who somehow teleported halfway across the floor. Yeah, Alright, bye. <laughs> see you, mate. I'm glad to see you're taking pity on us this time around. And we're off to the races, finally. Oh no, not the dogs. Not the dogs. This ain't gonna go well. Oh, there was another dog! There was another dog there! Shoot! Did we get it? I think that one's dead. No, but his friend's there. So many dogs. Missed, missed, missed. How did I miss all five shots? Crap, Catherine, you are awful. You honestly deserve to die after this shit performance. Okay, when I was playing as old Kendo, I, I, I could understand that, that I wasn't doing too well, but I, I was still sort of killing zombies. I was still keeping myself alive. You, you basically offered yourself up to them on a platter. You've bent over and you've gone, ooh, zombies, come and have a go. Who wants some of this, boys? You're doing your great Bugs Bunny impression where he dresses up as a woman. If that's what you're going for, then good job. Old key, chemical flame. Oh, hey, flamethrower. Where is she keeping this flamethrower? Everybody, yep. That is definitely in the rectum. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I suppose, is that, what, is that what women have to do when they don't have pockets on their dresses? <laughs> when you need to store a chemical flamethrower somewhere, it's going to have to go up the bum. Alright, where are they? Where? They're here somewhere. Oh, Nelly, that's a lot of them. Although, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want you stupid bastards. Round the sides, there we go. There's my opening. Not you! Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and... You guys suck at hunting. Hey! <laughs> and... Freedom! Is out of reach. Come on. Die already. You're on fire. How are you not dying? Get off. Get off me, you fucks. I'm just gonna go, just gonna go, just go. Hey, I got my knife back, that's something. Also, I'm on fire. That's. It's a bit of a problem. We got past the pale heads at least. Then. No, no. Shoot, 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 shoot. I need that door. I need that door. Wait, is that a liquor? Please don't be a liquor. Oh, it is. Burn, burn, liquors, burn. We're, we're, we're dead. We are so dead. 
We can't kill them with the weapons we have. This is awful. We are holy hell. We are bad at this. Warm up complete. That that was the warm up. God damn. I am. I don't know if I'm out of practice or if these levels are just harder than I thought they would be. Accessory unlocked. Yeah, I've got a nice hat. I can't stay alive for for more than thirty seconds, but I've got a hat to show for it. Let's try the last one. Let's try Forgotten Soldier. Oh, of course, change accessory. There's... Where is it? There's the tiger accessory. Perfect. And off we go. Here is a tale of a future that never was, of a night that never dawned. Your objective is to recover the G virus. The G, of course, standing for Alley G. That's why it was so dangerous. It was the most 90s virus possible. His first USS mission should have been simple, but everything changed in a hail of gunfire. William Birkin mutated into a G and wiped out the unit that gunned him down. But one soldier narrowly escaped and headed deep into Ness to fulfil his mission. Once he secured his sample, however, he heard a voice accu- He heard a voice accuing. He was a queuing voice. He was standing in a queue. He had to pay for his shopping. This voice was not very happy with that. He heard a voice echoing through the facility. Self-destruct sequence initiated. There's not much time left. The forgotten soldier ghost. His final mission has just begun. I think they ran out of ideas with this guy. Because having one member of the USS team survive is basically what the fourth survivor mode is. They've given us two modes that are the same thing. We've already had Hunk doing this. Now we have Ghost doing this. By the end of... 2019, we'll find out that the entire team of USS mercenaries actually survived, and they were just faking their deaths in various ways. Security team report. Many members of the Nest security team were infected with a virus. Among the infected members, some were wearing bulletproof gear. Of course they are. It's highly durable and provides complete protection against gunfire. Cool. Cool. Because that's what we needed was a way to make this even harder on ourselves. Hooray! What have we even got? Wow, a submachine gun and a tiny bit of ammo. Solid. This we haven't been able to do this with a ton of ammo. What on earth makes you think we're gonna be able to do do it now? Gunpowder, I agree, yeah. Fall down, fall down, fall down. I'm not interested in killing you, I just need you to fall over. Well, we made it past the first hallway. No, we didn't, because he's still alive. No, every t How is he biting me through a bulletproof visor? Well, and all of them take me from healthy to caution immediately. There's, there's four health levels in this game. Two levels of fine, then caution, then danger. Why do all of their bites instantly drop me to caution? I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for it, but right now I'm too annoyed to listen. Oh, not again. You can't hear me if I don't move, right? Oh, does that... Shit! The point of lickers is that not moving means I can't hear you. Son of a... How are they doing this? Well, that's out of ammo now. Good thing I took the pistol. Otherwise, I would be up shit creek without a boat, let alone a paddle. Hey. Please tell me you have useful items. Please. I don't... I don't care what, just something I can use. More gunpowder. Goody. Can I, uh, yeah, combine that with that. Submachine gun ammo. <laughs> this will last us all of, what, two zombies? Maybe three to push? Oh, would you look at that? Three zombies. How do I, wait, where do I go here? No. No. Oh, no, the ivy's there as well. Come on, where do I even... I don't know where the exit here is. Oh, up the light? Really? Okay. Well, I've lost my knife, but hey, the tiger's still on a roll. I would play Eye of the Tiger in the background, but... It, it, this video doesn't deserve it. I, I've done so poorly that we do not deserve to have Eye of the Tiger. Uh, shotgun magnum or grenade launch? Let's take the magnum. You know, tigers, I don't think they should really have grenade launches. Just just an inkling that I have. 
Tigers are a fairly dangerous beasties already. Giving them grenade launchers? Not the greatest idea anyone's ever had. Son of a... Come on! Oh, it's another bulletproof dude. Where did you come from? St God damn it! We're being poached! Help! Nature preserves! Save us! Christ, we're in danger of going extinct here! Health! Anything! Come on, you're taking bullets in the head. Your head is unarmoured. Fall down. Fall down and die already. Come on! Oh, where do you go? Well, we just got our asses handed to us three times in a row. That... That was ghost stories. We don't end on a victory. We died four times back to back. That was pitiful. I've, I've done the difficult parts of this game. I don't... Am I bad? No, I can't be bad. It's the game that's wrong. See, I've got Mr. Tofu and everything. I'm clearly the greatest at this game. Also, fuck Tofu Survivor. I've made it to the end of that one twice and got killed by the final zombie both times. Bullshit. Some of my curds and whey should have made it over the finish line. That's enough to count for a victory. But that was Resident Evil 2 Ghost Survivors. Will be... There's a training mode. Why did I not put it on training mode without telling anyone? I would have looked so badass. I, w I would have been the king of Resident Evil 2 and everyone would have been like, Wow, Lazy Dragon, you're amazing. Please come and act for Nemesis in Resident Evil 3. I could do that. I could do Nemesis' voice lines. A stars. Yeah, that's how Nemesis sounds, right? Excuse me. A stars. That's... <laughs> That's the bonus unlockable, is Nemesis is voiced by me. Ooh, stars. <laughs> but that was Ghost so Stories. We'll be back before too long with some more whatever it is I feel like playing. So until then, farewell everyone.